so. I guess I'll be the first one. Well, you know what I, you know what I, you know what I'll do, you know what I'll do, right? I'll explain how all this works, and then you can ask questions, right? So I'll tell you, I'll just tell you the steps, and you know what's going on, and then. And then we'll do that. All right. So, and it'll this will be this will be quick. I don't know, five ten minutes. All right. So look, look, right. Did everybody see the post that I put up uh, with the steps, the how, the how part? Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. So you get the steps, right? Uh, I got an idea, but um, because uh, those are the exact steps. Let me explain something about those steps. I I I put those steps there because that is what you're supposed to do. Let me explain how you simplify setting this up. Okay, you simplify setting it up by not worrying about step two. Take a piece of paper and some tape and cover everything underneath step one so that you can't see it. And handle step one. Then handle step two. Then handle step three. And while you're handling these steps, if you get stuck, if you have a question, ask me. But all of the steps of how to set this up is right there, man. Like... You know what I'm saying? Now, let me explain something else because there's some confusion out there about what a trust is. Okay? And then I'm going to get into your jobs and cars and houses and stuff. Okay? I'm going to explain all of that. All right. Now, are you, is everybody at a computer? Or, okay. Um, I want you to go to YouTube on your smartphone. If that doesn't interrupt the call, if it doesn't interrupt the call, I need you to go to YouTube on your cell phones. It's an interactive call. <laughs> when you go to YouTube, I want you to search the word micronation. Okay? Okay. Micro Nation. Everybody that's listening, I need you to YouTube the word Micro Nation. Micro Nation is one word. Search Micro Nation. Now, some people have Micro Nations on islands. Some people have Micro Nations on plots of land. Some people have micronations in their apartments. Okay? Some people have micronations online. The best way to explain to you what you're setting up is for you to study a micronation. You're setting up a micronation. Okay? Uh, well, which exact video is it? Well, the word micronation in itself is what you should research, right? So you can watch any of those videos on micronations, right? Now, what it is is that I'm explaining to you that what nobody's telling you is that that's what you're setting up. That's what a trust is. Now, let me give you some keywords to help mesh these two things together. Okay, a trust is an estate. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. But what you what you may not know is that an estate is a state. It's a state, right? like California. Word, yeah. son. Listen, okay. They, they don't want They don't want you to know this shit. But listen, okay. A trust is an estate. An estate is a state, okay. okay. A state. A state is a kingdom. Being that we're within what has been taken over America, being that we're, we're within America, that would be kingdoms within this this piece of land called America, right? 
now, right? This kingdom is a micro nation. That's what you're setting up. You're setting up a kingdom, a micro nation. The trust indenture is everything is how you want your kingdom to be set up and how you want it to run and who you want in position and what you want them to do. That's what the trust indenture is, man. Now, now, as far as as far as the questions about how to set up the trust indenture, nobody's kingdom is the same. Nobody wants their kingdom ran the same way. So you're supposed to read each part of the trust indenture and customize it to how you want your kingdom to run. So there is no set standard way after you set the trust up. I mean, one, while you're setting the trust up, the trust indenture and how you want everything to run, that is all up to you. What is also up to you is what businesses you would like, what business trusts you would like to run. I can't tell you what business trusts to run, what businesses to run. I know what I was taught. I know what I found out when I was doing research. But whatever business it is, or whatever your dream or your goal is, right? That's the biz. That's one of the businesses that you're supposed to conduct. I'm not telling people to get into real estate or selling cars. I'm just telling you what I found out, right? And and also, um, the way I set my trust up, I'm telling you how I did it because of my circumstances. Everybody's circumstances are different, so you might want to set it up different, right? Okay. Um, Let's see what else. Because I told you this would be quick. So let me cover uh, the. Oh my God. Let me cover this jobs and licenses and houses and all that. Let me explain that right now, too. All right. Somebody has. Um, I hear something like somebody's outside. Or, but listen, right? Um, you mean the noise? Or? Kind of. Yeah. I'm. Dr- uh, I'm I was gonna say driving, but I'm traveling. Um, oh, all right, cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But no, um, I have filled in in my house right here. Right? But oh, all right. Uh, yep. Um, as far as your jobs and your insurance and all of that, right? Please listen, okay? Please listen carefully. All right. I just said that you're setting up I just said that a trust is an estate and a state is a state a state is a kingdom a kingdom is a micro nation I just said that right mm-hmm. so if you're setting up a kingdom if you're setting up a nation right that would mean that you are now putting yourself in a position of a king or a queen right Mm-hmm. Right now, the trust is also is also going to be set up to finance itself and the kingdom. The kingdom has to have an economy. It has to have a way of making money. It has to have. You, you see what I'm saying? That's all in the trust indenture. So what I'm saying is that you're setting up a kingdom, you're putting yourself in a position of king, and you're going to set up a treasury and an economy, right? That should be up and running within 45 to 60 days if you do it right. Now, now, if you are a okay, no, no, no. Let me not say it like that. Let me say this piece first, right? What what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to while you're setting up the trust and you're taking care of your paperwork and everything, right? You're living your life as you were living it, right? You are setting up the trust and getting it to the point where it supports you, itself, and everything else. 
that's when you can abandon everything because you don't need them anymore. You see? And so some people have confusion with, you know, the whole once I'm baptized and I set up the trust, I'm supposed to throw everything away, but how am I supposed to handle my job and my bills? And my... Listen, no, 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 no. While you're living the life that you've been living, you're building the trust up to the point where the trust can cover everything and then you can transfer everything into the trust and leave the old life alone. Because you won't need it anymore. You won't need a freaking job, man. What the hell? Is people keep asking me about jobs and when I want to apply for a job, if I don't have my... What the fuck? You're a king. You're a boss now when you set up a trust, man. What is it talking about jobs for, son? You're going to be making four to five figures within 60 days, 45 to 60 days. What are you talking about jobs, son? And I'm not talking to nobody in particular, but I heard this question quite a number of times. Does anyone understand what's going on here, man? I, look, the, the wealthiest individuals in the world, the wealthiest families in the world are wealthy because they set up trust. That's what you're doing. How are you asking me about jobs when you're about to do what Rockefeller, what, 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 all, what all of them, what they did? <laughs> right? And fine, we're going to be doing it for good and we're going to be helping people, right? But you're doing the same thing that they did. You're setting up the same thing that they set up. They became wealthy through trust, man, not corporations. That's what you're going to be doing. So you really are not going to care about a job, and you shouldn't already if you understood what was going on here. But I'm explaining it to you now, you know, just in case those questions are floating around in your heads, right? You are so setting up something that is way beyond a job or a small business that it's not even funny. If you research it, that's the other thing. While I was teaching you stuff, did anybody like Google stuff? Did you like, you know, like print stuff out and uh, highlight stuff? And like, did you, you know what I'm saying? Like, did anybody research this? You know what I mean? Because I'm hearing questions that I really shouldn't be hearing. So I wanted to cover these things before I wanted to cover these things before the questions. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what did I leave out? What did I leave out? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, um you're also now here's the thing, here's the other confusion. Fine, a trust is an estate, an estate is a state, a state is a kingdom, a kingdom is a micro nation. Fine. You're setting up a nation. But at the same time, this trust is considered as a living being. That is why you're supposed to put a living entity. Let me say it like that, right? Because a trust is not by law considered as a dead entity or a person, okay? It's considered as a living entity, right? So at the same time, you're creating a living entity, Right? Now, that living entity has the ability to do everything that the old entity was able to do, except you are in charge. You and your people are in charge. See? So, that's why once you're baptized and you get a new name, you set up the first trust that you set up is the entity, is the first living entity, right? That's why I suggest that. You're supposed to set up three other trusts after that. And the first trust is able, a trust can create a trust. A trust can create a corporation. A private man or woman can create a trust or a corporation. So I just want to throw that out there too. Now, what's everybody's questions? I think that's everything I want to say. Yeah, I got a question. Uh, first question is uh, baptism. Um, okay. Where, where, where did the ordination, like I know you want to do of light and life, where, where did that ordination come from? Oh, what do you mean? Because they're two different things. Okay, look, there's three... There's three. Okay, there's baptism, and you could be baptized by anyone, 
as long as they're a believer, okay, as long as they're a believer, and, you know, they're not, you know, it's not a 501c3 church, right? Okay, so anyone can actually tip you in water, say the Lord's Prayer, and baptize you, right? Okay, then what it is is that once we have evidence that you do that, we're supposed to, we take, um, we get pictures, or you can send it to us, however we get that letter of baptism and then what we do is we set up the baptismal certificates we get those set up and we send those out which we're about to do right um that's how that process goes ordination is different okay ordination because you can be a congregation member that's like joining a church that's a congregation member you can be baptized and and not necessarily be congregation you don't have, you know, you see what I'm saying. And being a minister is that's what ordained is when you when you decide to take up a position in the church. See, so that's those are all three different positions, and those are all three different, I guess, yeah, administrative processes. And they're three different. So there's three different statuses. But well, everybody, everybody that's a minister or congregation member is baptized. So that's kind of like the first step. Alright, so the, uh, that first uh, trust you're talking about, that's the living entity. Yes. So can that, can that trust get a job? Or maintain uh, some sort of employment? Or sell its services as a laborer? Right, okay, cool, 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 cool. Services? I was quiet. I was, I, was cool. I was quiet until you got to, until you started talking my language. Okay, listen. The trust is a kingdom. It's a state. It's a it's it's a nation, right? It's a, it's going to be set up to have its own economy. It's it can it's also functions as a private bank, right? Okay. Now, now what I'm saying to you is that once you create a trust, not only does it already have value, right? But it already has the ability to fund itself. Now, that entity is not going to need a job. It's a business. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let me go to the next thing. A trust is also a business, or it can be a business. It can run like a business. So, here's so. what I'm not getting. It just seems real simple to me that... If, um, let, let's just say, um, for whatever the reason, I want to do business with somebody, like right now, like my social, yes. right, in the truck. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm just using the common terms right now. So my social is a truck. So that trust is getting paid. Why can't that trust continue to get paid and go into the greater kingdom? Ah, in, like a ah, deployment. Now, or now something. here. Here's the thing, right? Your social, the person is currently employed, right? While the person, while the person is currently employed, you are building the trust up to fund itself to the point that your person nor you need a job. All right, well, let me stop you right there. Um, the per let, let's just say a person has a business then. Okay. And that business has professional licenses and certifications okay. that are needed to run that business. Okay, So cool. if this old entity is dead, what happens to this potential source of income for the truck? There's two different ways that that could be handled. The first way is that the trust can take the position right of management you can have the trust managing the LLC or the business right so then you have the trust structure above the LLC which is and then, and then you have asset protection for the LLC because they'll work together and that's a lot of paperwork that I'll you know if that's what you want to do I'll show you how to do that but the other way is to transfer the business into the trust and then the trust runs 
as the business. Yeah, but the issue is this business has to have a professional license to That's run. cool. That's cool. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Trust, private trust, and see, so you have to understand, private trust and and corporations work together sometimes, right? So, that and, be, and we have to, you know, because that's why you set up the EIN number is so that the private trust can do business in the public. So, private trust and corporations work together in the public. They have to. So, it's not a problem for you to have a private trust and uh, and a business. There's no and a corporation. There's no problem with that. Right, and they don't interact. They don't bar. They don't um. Conflict, they don't conflict with each other. No. But you have an option. If you wanted to combine them, if you wanted one to run the other, if you wanted one to be absorbed into the other, or if you wanted them to merge, you have those options. So, now, All right, well, let me say it this way. You can, um, when you're building a trust, what it, what it is is that you're setting up a separate situation from the business. They don't have to interfere with each other. Yeah, I get it, but let's just say, uh, here, here's the thing. Let's just say a woman, she has a uh, degree in cosmetology, and this degree in cosmetology is what allows her, or this license she has, allows her to run a salon. Okay. Well, if she kills that entity and everything tied to that social, there goes her ability to continue to operate this business. That's not true. So how does she do that That's if true. she's a... You because know what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain now. What, some, what, what would surprise some people is that Walt Disney is a private trust. It's an amusement. There's an amusement park there, man. So everything a everything a corporate amusement park would have to have to run as an amusement park, the trust would have to have too, wouldn't it? Walt Disney is private. Let's talk about another private uh, trust. Um, Pepsi is a private. Did you know that Pepsi is in the private sector and is not under the jurisdiction of the United States Incorporated? Did you know that? That's, yeah, why, but somebody, that's why. Wait, wait. What I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that those private trusts work with corporations, and they have corporations within them, and they're able to do business that way. There's no, so what I'm saying is that there are already trusts that are operating in this way. So I would have to I would have to give you the information so that you can see the details. But they can come work together without any problem. And, yeah, but and somebody, some person, some social, or somebody, no, whatever the, number, whatever the, number went and got that license, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Whatever yeah. number went and got that license is what's going to be needed. So, now, you, are a, you telling me that I got to go back under a trust number and retake these, uh, get all these credentials back? No, 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 I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that you have the ability to leave that the way it is, right? You have the ability to run that business as you have. Um, how can I give you paperwork details? If you go to DMV and you tell them that you want to transfer your car into a trust, they have a form for that, right? If you went to your employer and you told them that you wanted to have your income um, deposited into the trust account, then you could do that. If you told your employer that you changed your name and your religion, there's forms for that, son. You know what I'm saying? And you tell, I don't have this anymore. I don't, you know, you change. There's forms for all of this stuff, son. It's what I'm saying. Like, like, like these people or these or these um these corporations that everybody's under right now, they they know what I'm talking about. It's just that you don't know that they know. And they also all have forms for this stuff. When you want to have your when you want to have your um your your house transferred into a trust, there's documents for that. There's a way to do that when you uh. 
when you want to have your your insurance could be transferred into the trust. There's forms for that. Like I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that there are the trust interacts with all of these things. It's just that most people don't know it. And yeah. So so basically, I'm keeping the social, but I'm going to be using the trust to run the social to uh, remove all liability from the social. But you know, is that what you're saying? Right, exactly. Now, here's the other thing, though. But the, that's why you get a tax ID number for the trust, also, so that you can operate in the public with the trust. Yeah, you put an 8832 on top of the social, basically, you know, and you know, and you can use the you can use that entity, or you can use the social for whatever it needs to be used for. And what it is is that you're supposed to build up business credit. For the trust, you're supposed to get a Dun and Bradstreet number so you can build up. Uh, how can I say that? So you can build up um, elite business credit for the trust by getting the Dun and Bradstreet number for the trust. And what happens is you the trust, but the trust gets so big, right? That. The trust gets so big that your your life is going to change. You're going to have new options, man. That's all I have to say is that you'll have new options and you'll you'll see a lot of things differently. <laughs> right? That's all I have to say. Um, but as long as you do it, and as long as you do it right, see, you know, because I learned that um, there comes a point where the studying has to stop. Like once you know what's right, you have to do what's right. There comes a time where the studying has to stop and you have to go do. Knowledge is infinite. So an individual can study forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got to have a clear picture before I move, though. That's just No, no, that's no, just no, no, me. I'm not telling you. I'm not, you know, tell, I'm not telling you. I know, you. I know other people... I know other people jump out there and do stuff, but nah, yeah, I'm not I did telling that you. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not telling you that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that once you do understand, once you do get it, once you're saying to yourself, "Oh, right," then it's and you know what's right and what's wrong in regards to a trust, a private trust, then go do it. And as long as you do it, you'll see what I'm saying. That's what I mean. <laughs> we got some major bad feedback there, if you can hear me. I didn't know. I don't know. That's not me. That's not over. I don't know where it's coming from, but holy cow. It stopped. And stop. Yeah, no, stop I got, I got, I, yeah, that was me while I was driving. That's why I uh, keep pressing the mute button when I stop talking. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right. I got a couple questions. Cool, let's go. Ask away. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, so I think I understand what you what you're trying to say, uh, Machete. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, in the meanwhile, keep on keep on using the you know the the birth certificate name mm -hmm. uh, until you're you know you're prepared and stuff like that. Go to, to you know to eliminate that and then go you know so you can start set, and then after that you can set up your kingdom. Look, look, I'll explain. I'll explain to you. Look, let me tell you what I'm doing right now, just so that, just so that you know, you could, just so that you could get a better idea, right? All right. So, in the five hundred and seventy-five dollar volume two, passing the bucks book, right? That I bought. That is that explains private. Just that explains trust. You know, in a whole. It's, it's almost like reading about the stock market. Kind of, it's kind of like learning the stock market 
you know, reading that book. But in this $600 book, I learned that one of the easiest, most profitable businesses to get into to fund the trust with is real estate. So I said, hey, let me see. Right, so I did research into real estate. I did research into investing in real estate and all that stuff, and I learned how to do it. And I found out that you don't have to spend any money at all to get this started, and to get start buying and selling houses. It doesn't take any money. You're not using any money to start doing this. Your first deal, you could land anywhere between five and twenty thousand dollars minimum. Like you know what I'm saying? In your first deal, I'm about to be working on my first deal. I also found out that one of the most easy, profitable ways to fund a trust is by buying and selling cars the same way. But with a different, with, but with different paperwork, you're you're buying and selling cars without using any money whatsoever. And I'm doing it. I'm selling my first car. It's on my website. Okay, right? How did you do it? I found somebody that was selling the car. I said, look, dude, instead of you paying for advertising and going through all the crap, having people call you and come to your house and all that, I'll advertise the car for you. He was like, "Cool, that sound. I don't even. I don't want to deal with any of that anyway. So look, the car is in Portland, Oregon, right now, parked up. You, go ahead, do your thing." I, I asked him, "Okay, so how much you want to sell it for? I want to sell it for this much. How much can I get? Just to ask him, just to, you know, what I'm saying because I already have a number on the contract, but I wanted to find out what he would say because maybe there's more leniency in there for me. You know what I'm saying, right? So he tells me, okay, look, you could get 35 if you sell it for this. You could get 2000 if you sell it for that. I'm like, cool. Listen, people, I could do that 10 times by telling people that I'll sell your car for you, son. Now, what I'm telling you is that you, if you make, right, and what you can, if you, if you put yourself, you know, put yourself into it, if you get into it, put your mind to it and do it, you know what I'm saying? By working cars by itself, you can make ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in a month and do it every month, all the time, forever, son. You know what I'm saying? And look, man, is anyone paying attention to me? Now, doing it, working houses is even crazier, okay, because you can do this with buildings, you can do this with condominiums, you can do it with apartment complexes, you can do it with land, you see what I'm saying, and I'm doing it, I'm about to, listen man, I'm, I can't, there's certain things I can't say, right, because certain things are private, but that's what I'm saying, man. If you're making, once you start, what I'm saying is that do everything the same way you've been doing it. Once you're making, once you make twenty-five thousand or twenty thousand dollars in 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 a month, and you say to yourself, "Holy shit, right? I can do this again and again and again." Your mind's gonna change about what you want to do and what you're doing, son. Seriously, and and and. It doesn't matter what business you want to get into. You don't have to work real estate or cars. I'm not telling you to do that. You might already have a dream, have a business running already. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to interrupt that. But I guarantee you that by using a trust in addition to whatever business it is that you have, you will definitely have more options, more power, and be able to make more money. Definitely, for sure. So, okay, so... You could even flip it on people, right? Let me tell you, so if you could even flip it on people, if, okay, let's say Toys R Us, right? Toys R Us, right? Let's say Toys R Us is running, they had their business running forever, right? Let's say that the owner, the current owner of Toys R Us wants to run Toys R Us as a trust because he found that running the business as a trust, there's no taxes, oh my God, how much more money is that, um, we'll be outside of the jurisdiction of the United States, so we won't be regulated by state, by the state and everything, right? Okay, I want to run Toys R Us like that. So what he does is, the trust is is the trust name is Toys R Us with a comma after with a, with a um, apostrophe after the R, right? So it's still Toys R Us. Everything everything still looks the same except there's this little apostrophe right next to the R. 
right? But that's the name of the trust. He doesn't have to change anything other than paperwork administratively, right? The employees stay employees, but with the trust, they're considered as um, independent contractors, right? Now, the board of directors, every the board stays the board, but the board becomes private. The board goes private now because it's a trust, right? So you're no longer a corporate board. You're a private trust board. You see what I'm saying? So that, so those are some of the options that you have when you already have a business running with the trust. So What's up? Um, so, okay, uh, yeah, obviously, we, I, you know, I still need more studying. I'm not going to learn this stuff, in, you know, in, in a week or four months, you know. It takes a yeah. takes time. But you can always ask me questions, like when you're studying something and if you get stuck somewhere or if, you know, or if while you're taking your steps you get stuck somewhere or there's something you don't, you don't understand, I set up the chat on my website because that's the easiest way to get in contact with me, go to the website and click the chat button and send me a message and I will talk it out right then and there, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, so and that'll make it easy for you because while you're studying or while you're handling business, I can guide you through it like Morpheus and Neo, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'd like to do. I mean, don't be don't be at home on your own reading this stuff, and it's like Japanese, and you don't get it, and and you know get frustrated, and just contact me, man. Like, ask me questions. I like questions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. But okay, um, so so right now I've got two parked cars in my house, mm -hmm. right? And um, I actually had three, but uh, I I got in a little incident with the police and. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. beat, beat me up and Ooh. I almost died because uh, I, I, didn't answer, I they almost killed me, but and I didn't answer any questions. I don't answer oh. questions. So they, oh. they 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 opened the door and they freaking they they pulled me out forcibly. But anyway, uh. um, so how how can I uh, um, I heard the manufacturer certificate of origin is the uh, it's the it's an elodial title, or um, it's like a, that is the title for the car, right? That's the that is the car. that is the only title. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. well, my my first step right now is how can I secure my cars so okay. I so I um or I could uh, is there like a form I got, I can fill out? The hell yeah, company? hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. When you create your trust, you go to DMV and you tell them that you would like to take your car off of their registry and you would like to transfer it into a trust, and they are going to hand you the form to do that with. <laughs> Seriously, I, it's crazy, right? But 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 all these people know what I'm talking about. Seriously, because I I met I told the oh. lady. That's um, the um, Lola was at DMV one time, and the people, the couple in front of her, actually asked the the. Mm -hmm, they was transferring their car into a trust. She was like, "I saw somebody doing it." <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But these individuals know what I'm talking about. And then what it is is that you can't – don't be scared. You can call anybody you want and ask them, son, what if I want to do this? Ask your – you got a job? Ask your boss. These, ask him these questions and see what his answers are or her answers are. It will shock you, son. <laughs> Seriously. Go places and talk differently, man. Go places and say to them, "I'm uh, well." If you are, you know what I'm saying. Say I'm a minister. Or say you know, um, I'm I'm I've been baptized and I've changed. You know, I have a new belief system. Or you know, say ch change the way you talk, man. And I'm not saying change the way you talk because I ain't changed the way I talk. But what I am is not the same. I'm not, you know, and, and then, you know, I, I'm the same as everybody else, but I'm not. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm not a person. So, like, let's say when the police approach me, it's like, son, I'm not 
I'm not them. Like, you know what I mean? I know that you feel that everybody is this and you can do this and that to everybody, but you can't do that to everybody. Not everybody. So, you know what I mean? You're going to run into some people that you can't do that to. I'm one of those individuals. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? So, it's like, but you have to, you have to, you have to be. You know, I, I don't even know what words to add to that. It's like, you're free already, man. You're free already, man. You're. Let me say this again. You're free already, man. Let me tell you why you're free. You're free because once you left your parents' house, why, why does it make sense that strangers that you've never met before could tell you what to do? Why does it make sense? Why does it make sense to people? The only reason why these individuals are in control, the only reason why these individuals are in control is because somehow they got everybody to believe that strangers could tell them what to do, son. It's retarded. It doesn't make any sense. You're free already. Nobody can tell you what to do, son. Your parents, if you, you know what I'm saying? Because I told my mom, like, she'll be like, you know, uh, can you go to the store for me, please? You do you, would you like to go? And I'm like, are you, are you asking me? My, my mother tell me to go to the store and I'm going to go because you, whatever you say, I'm going to do it, right? You know what I mean? Like, you, you know you can just tell me what to go to the store, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm going to tell you that your parents can't tell you what to do. But other than your parents, how can anyone else, how does anyone else have authority over you? So where did you, where does that make sense to y'all, like? You know what I mean? You're free already. Now set up your kingdom. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, the, you know, the only thing that you're missing is your paperwork. Proving that you're free and that you have authority too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, that's all they did. All they did was create papers and pass the papers. And when nobody argued with those papers, it became law. Any man or woman can do the same thing. They're just not doing it. Also, also, everything that everybody claims to be under, all of these registrations and licenses and all of these jobs and stuff, you're all, it's all employment under the United States Incorporated. It's a company. It's Walmart. It's Burger King. It's, it's, it's Bojangles. It's, 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 it's Rite Aid. It's, it's Target. It's, it's Toys R Us. There's no difference, people. It's a company, son. It's a company. And if you don't like the company that you're working for, quit, B. And yes, that would mean take off the vest, throw away the ID, throw away their paperwork. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? But if you are not making money already to cover all of your expenses and bills, then it wouldn't be smart to quit before you're making money. So what I'm saying is that you would keep yeah. your job until you're making yeah. enough money to quit. You see? Just like regular life, you would keep your job until you're making enough money to quit. So... In working for the United States Incorporated, you are building your trust up until you are able to quit and throw away the vest and the ID and the... You see what I'm saying? They're all jobs. Even when you get a company and incorporate with the United States, it's still an, a job. That, that entity that you created is an employee of the United States Incorporated. Also, you know what I mean? And the same problems or more your company's going to have. Because your company's a person too. Corporations are persons. See what I'm saying? So, it's, so that same freedom that you want, right? You're going to want that for your company too because your company is being taxed and extorted and controlled and it doesn't have to be. Because there's an entire private sector. Let, look, right? You, Google. I, okay, I, I I let you know where to go in YouTube. YouTube Micronation, right? Google. Now Google these two words, or three words: private sector business. Please, people, Google the words private sector business, 
and understand that there's an entire side of business that people just don't know about and know you're not regulated by the state and no and yes you could get the same do the same things that regular corporations do it's yes please study the private sector of business please study it because a lot of these companies that you deal with are not corporations be or not public and they can do the same thing put it like this right put it like this um Pepsi is in the private sector, not under the jurisdiction of the United States Incorporated, not regulated by any state or state regulations, right? And um, uh, let's say another company, Coca-Cola, is public. It's a corporation. It is incorporated by the United States and under the United States uh, jurisdiction and regulated by the state, it, right? But they're both soda companies. They both do the same thing. They both can do the same exact things. It's just that one is in the private sector and one is in the public sector. In the private sector, those businesses are 95% of the time trust. It's crazy, it, it, but but it's true. There's so much that they don't tell us that it's not even funny. But that's because they want the majority of the people to be the workers. So they don't want you to find out how to become a boss. They damn sure don't want you to find out how to become a king because the first thing they had to get rid of was all of the kings. <laughs> Please understand that the unspoken part of history, the unspoken piece of history, is that they eliminated all of the kings. That's the first thing they did. They got rid of all of the kings. They had to. And they damn sure don't want kings rising again. But that's what's happening, and that's what will happen. There's nothing they can do about that. But... Yes. Private sector business. Google it. Micronation. Google it. That's what you're doing. That's what a private trust is. Now, now, okay, on my website, uh, in the community, if you click more tab on my website and you go to the online community, Right? There's a category called the Private Trust Academy. That's where I'm teaching all of this private trust stuff. So, one of those trusts says um, positions and powers, right? And there's a long list of uh, explaining all of the positions and what those positions do and what what powers the trust has and what powers those those individuals have. And as far as businesses and jobs and services and there's a long list that you guys would love to look at it's crazy so and what that is is that it's explaining to you all of the things that a private trust can do in the public man okay I'll give you another example a church did you know that a free tr did you know that a church could start a daycare center without go without jumping through the hoops of a public daycare center a church can just start just could just start a daycare center and set up a daycare center and not have to and not have to deal with being under the jurisdiction of the United States or regulated by the state a church can create a hospital or a school without being under the jurisdiction of the United States or being regulated by the state. Did you guys know that? <laughs> and do you, and how many times did people hear the word trustees? Right? That yes, because uh, well, the free churches, right? Right? Are most of the time set up with trust and so the trustees are the individuals that are managing the church because you know it's a minister it should be a ministerial trust that is running the free church because the free church needs a 
structure to be able to do business with the public. Unless it's completely private, then it doesn't need that at all. <laughs> right? Because some churches are private as hell. And no one even knows about them. But yeah. So, any other questions? More questions. I got a bunch of questions. Come on, ask me more stuff. Let's go. Oh, man. I, I got over a thousand. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Let's do it. What do you want to know? Um, so, uh, I'm still not, I still didn't, uh, so once you go to the DMV and you request for the form to uh -huh. transfer into the trust, uh -huh. what makes, what makes the, the car, um, or the, does the contract, is the contract, um, uh, or the, the, the contract is a trust, right? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. The trust is a contract, right? Most certainly, yes. Okay. So that contract is uh, the title. So now that, that contract becomes the title for the, uh, the MCO? Or how, how no. does that work? No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. The equitable interest, right, mm -hmm. for the car and the owner, see, because you understand that the trust is an entity, right? You are transferring the car to the trust as if you were giving the car to your friend. Uh-huh. Okay. So, there's paperwork that you handle that lets them know that you're transferring the car to your friend. And your friend now becomes the owner of the car. Now, what it is is that your friend can appoint you, right, as the operator of the car. So now, what happens is, under that trust... You would have you would create your own plates, right? For you would have trust plates because you're creating your own estate, which is a state, which is a state. So your state needs plates. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Can you? Uh, is anyone understanding me? Okay. Your state is going to need its own plates because now you transferred the car out of the off the registry of the previous state. And now it's going to have to be registered to your state. And so you're going to have to design plates for your state. And then your car is belongs to the trust, which is the state, just the same way the state does it. Are you listening to me? So then your car belongs to the state, and then you are appointed as the operator of the car. But of course, but of course, of course, you're running the trust and everything. So, but it's just that the car is in the trust because you don't want to own anything, so that nothing can be taken from you. That's the whole asset protection part. <clears throat> so basically, I'm acting as a trustee, general manager. I'd rather say that because the grantor can be the general manager. Yeah. Uh, you don't. You wouldn't want to be the trustee at the same time because, yeah, that creates liability. Yes, because you don't want them to know who the grantor is. You don't want that. That's the whole thing. You and see, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Also, once you create the trust, the trustees handle everything. The trust and the trustees handle everything for you, and you can disappear, man. No one ever talks to you or sends you mail or looks you in your face ever anymore after that, <laughs> unless you want them to. Right? And like when you see those movies and you got the guy that says, My employer would like to send you a message, right? Yes, that's you. And your general manager is the guy that's, that you're the employer. 
right, that no one sees. You're the big boss on the top floor that no one ever sees, son. And everybody else on the floors underneath your top floor office, those are your trustees and independent contractors that are running the trust for you, son. That's what you're setting up, man. And, and, and financially, that's what you're setting up, man. And that's what they've been doing and laughing at us. And I'm trying to teach you how to do it so that they could, so that they're not laughing at you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Jasmine brought up a good point. She brought up an excellent point. Should I say Lola, a.k.a. Lola, brought up a good point. You guys can look this up too. You can hire trustees that know what they're doing. Yes. You can look at, there are people out there that are looking for trust to join that already know exactly what they're doing and what to do. All you have to do is sign them up and pay them. Okay? And the trust is going to be making money for itself, so you don't have to pay them out of your paycheck or whatever your money is, your account. You don't have to do that because the trust is going to be making its own money. Let me explain something else about the trust making its own money. Once you create the trust, you need a printer, you need certificate paper, and you need to print out trust certificates, right? Because trust certificates are like stock certificates. And once you have trust certificates, investors, private investors, would love to just give you money for trust certificates or should I say investors would love to give you money for stock certificates because they love trust they know that trust make money they know that trust run forever and cover everyone and trust can be trusted and so investors are waiting for trust to be created and people to say that there's trust certificates available for investing in our trust. They're waiting for people to say that. You don't know this because this isn't common knowledge because it's private, right? But there are trustees waiting for you to ask them to run your trust for you. As they're waiting for you to say this, I need somebody to run my trust for me. I need people that know what they're doing to teach my other trustees how to do this. There, there are people out there waiting for you to call them, son. Where do you find those people? Google it. Okay. <laughs> well, I've no, looked no, at no. a lot and of also, private stuff, and I, it doesn't bring uh, up a lot, you know, when I'm trying well, to... Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because, yeah, yeah, you see, here's the thing about um, looking for private information. You've got to dig, right? you got to dig, right? So, so when you Google it, I would say... Click page five first. Like before you go through page <laughs> one, two, and three, click page. See what's on page five. And um, uh, let me see. There's other sources too. Um, you can check libraries. You can check, and there's no more. And I heard somebody told me maybe so. Consider you know so what. You know, don't judge me. But I just found out that there's no more yellow pages, son. There's no more yellow pages and white pages. Like, they stop. There's, they don't even print those no more or something. Like, what's really good with that? It's only online or something? Does anybody know this? No. I was told that the yellow pages, they don't, they don't, they don't print those anymore. It messed me up. But, but, yeah, the yellow pages, white pages, um... You know, just look these people up. They're out there waiting. <laughs> hey, um, you, you know who else is? You know who else is waiting? I want to just, you know, because I always, I always got to do. This. I'm sorry, it always leaks out of me. But you know who else is waiting? The angels are waiting. The angels are very bored. The angels are bored. You want to know why the angels are bored? Because nobody ever asked them to do nothing. Like they just. They're just sitting around waiting for humans to tell them to do stuff, and nobody ever does it. It's, it's I don't get it. There's, we have there are angels that are just waiting to help us. All we have to do is ask. And no, you don't have to know the particular name of the angel and what time and where the moon is at and write the symbols on the. Nah, son, just talk. They're your family to just talk. 
just say, just God, look, I send somebody to help me do this right here, and then then, then it'll happen. You do, try it, and then tell me I'm crazy after the shit happens, and you and you get scared under your bed. Look, <laughs> listen, listen, try it, try, just try it. The angels are bored too. There's tr and that, check this out. This is going to, I'm going to blow, I don't know how many minds I might blow right now, but, 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 there are individuals, and I'm going to use, I'm using the word individual strategic, strategically right now, there are individuals out there waiting to give you money to grow your trust with. Would you like to know what they're called? Yes. Ha, 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 ha. They're called angels, man. Is there a specific <laughs> one? Specific ones? No. Look up, uh, look up angel investors. They're called angels. Look up angel investors. That's what the angels are. The devils are the attorneys. They're in the courthouses. The angels are called angel investors. Those are the angels. Mm. Just so Machete, will the, the trustees that uh, specialize in private trust, will they kind of know this information already? Is that how you, yep. they know how to man? Okay, because I, I think that's yep. been my biggest struggle is the trustee yep. part. I really think that's well, been the hardest thing for me. Well, here's, here's the deal, right? In the, uh, on, my, on my website in the community, um, in that article that says the how part, right? The how part will help you, and the tr and the part that says positions and powers that will help you a lot. I put those two things up so that people can understand what everybody's position is and what everybody does and what everybody is capable of doing. And now here's another thing, right? You don't have to be confused about the trust. Please simplify the situation to this. You are creating a kingdom. It is you are the king. You are the queen. You decide how you want the trust to run. You can customize it. Look, however you imagined when you were playing with your toys as a kid, however you imagined everything, you can do it for real now. So don't be afraid of the paperwork and say, oh, it has to be this, so I have to find out how this goes. Or how. Change it. Change it to how exactly you had it set up when you was a kid. You have the power to do that. Nobody, nobody has the right to stop one man from contracting with another. Nobody could interfere with your right to contract. Nobody. Nobody could tell you what your contract has to say on it. Nobody can tell you what can or can't be in your contract. I'm, you're in charge now. I'm telling you that you're free and you can start setting up your own situations, your own family legacy, your own estate. If you don't want to set up a kingdom, if that scares you, if micronation scares you, set up your family legacy. Right, but you have the freedom and the power. Okay, first was the freedom. Now I'm showing you that you have power. Now, the United States is the United States is a corporation with a trust connected to it. You with me? Is everybody with me? By cre by creating a trust rules that set up the United States have. You now have the paperwork and the power to do the same thing that they did. But for good, of course. You know what I'm saying? But you have the paperwork and the power, the same power that they have now. I'm telling you what they don't want you to know. I'm giving you what they don't want you to have. Trust certificates are worth who knows how much money, and you could just and you could just print them out, man. You'll be able to literally make money, <laughs> literally. And and do you know why Mickey dollars are on the stock market and considered as a legal currency? Because they have their own estate, which is a state, and that state. 
uh, that has its own currency, which is actually called community currency or local currency, right? Right. But how can you have currency without a treasury, right? Right. Well, the private trust also functions as a private bank and can solely serve as a private bank if you want it to. And the, in the management trust or the first trust that you set up can create another trust which runs as the private bank because you can make money and have investors funding. the. Listen, it's crazy. All you have to do is set it up, though, first. Take those first steps. Look at step one. Handle step one. Don't worry about step two, three, and four. Don't, get, don't scare yourself. Don't confuse yourself. Study step one. When you finish step one, then study step two. Don't try to study the whole subject. It's a broad topic that can you can end up studying it forever. Listen, I'm telling you, once you figure out how it basically runs, which you can learn in the community on my website because the private sector will teach you about private trust and the private trust academy will teach you about private trust. There's so much information in those two places on my website that you can, between all of that information, what you got from school and asking me questions, there's no way that you can't get it. There's no way, because I'm going to answer your questions. I'm going to help you. I can send you to people that will help you, too. Like, it's, you got to talk to me. Because you'll be on the website. You'll be uh, reading articles, watching videos, listening to broadcasts and blog talks. And while you're doing that, you can just click the chat, mess the chat box, and talk to me. And I will answer your questions. You can press pause and say, hey, what did you mean in this blog talk when you said this right here? And I'll explain it to you. The easiest way to make it through this, right, is to message me on a website, and I will guide you through it. And just think of it as Neo's cell phone, okay? <laughs> Use my website like Neo's cell phone. <laughs> and I will and I will Morpheus son and I will Morpheus you out of the matrix, son. But you have to you have to contact me and you gotta talk to me or how if you don't get on your phone, how I'm gonna help you get out the matrix. So use my website like Neo cell phone. Okay? You have a question. You could be at you could be at the post office or Okay, and I'm going to tell you about that trick, too, because I put this in the steps on my website, on that, um, in that post on the how part, but I'll tell you here, you can, it's not, you don't have to go to the county recorder to record your trust and get the, you can go to the post, because the post office is the county, is, the, is equity court now, because they flipped it, they switched it on us. Po the post office is is equity court now is the county recorder and because it is you don't actually have to see them anymore you can just go there and get a green card because geez is it how many people are listening to me right now <laughs> I'm about to tell you some shit how many people listen to me right now right here all right, all right, all right, all right. 11 I don't know but I'm here I'm listening all right, all right. check this out check this out check this out Right. Please understand that a green card is a green card. Mm, 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 mm. A green card is a green card, son. What I mean by that is that when you set up your trust and send mail to send your trust registered mail, right? <laughs> right? Your trust now has its name on a green card and has traveled within the United States, within the, within the borders of America. And so you can use that registration, that registered mail number, as your trust ID number when you're operating in the public. 
that is your trust identification number. You don't have to record it at a courthouse and go step through those scary metal detectors and pass those scary security guards. You can just go to the post office. And, okay, of course, yes, there's more details. Okay, I'm not, yes, there's more details. You'll be getting that. You, you'll be getting that. But, yes, you will be sending yourself registered mail, sending your trust mm -hmm. registered mail, and that registered mail number, that, red, that green card is a green card, son, because a green card is a green card. They all, they, I don't know how many people... Or you know that might, how many people know people that are foreign, right? But you'll notice that the green card and the registered mail green card look the same, and that is because if you research it, the postal union, the the postal union, the UPU, which is also considered as the overlord of commerce. Hmm. That's what that entity is considered as, is the overlord of commerce, right? Okay. The, uh, the UPU, <coughs> excuse me, their position in all of this is that they're trafficking persons. They've been guilty. They've been found guilty of trafficking persons. I was just going to say that it's like, Trafficking because uh, the uh, registered mail is a is a the dotted moving, line is yes yeah. they're moving persons they're illegally moving persons all over the place son it's trafficking it's, it's <laughs> yo the it's the how everything is set up is really wild and crazy but it's all true so yes a green card is a green card son is a green card is a green card. And so all you have to do is register your trust by sending it registered mail. And yes, there are details. I know it sounds broad and vague, and but yes, there are details. But yeah, so that's how you do that now. And whenever you want to record something or deal with equity or equity court, please know that the postmaster of your town is the equity court judge and that they play musical chairs on us, and equity court is not in courthouses anymore. And it is, but they're going to try to evade you. <laughs> they will try to tell you that there's no such thing, it doesn't exist, that they haven't had... Listen, in New York, right, me and an unnamed individual, try to do research into my birth certificate situation because I had a fraudulent one, so there wasn't one. Um, so I had to look up uh, the last, the only name that I knew of and tried to look that up and everything. And so we tried to go through equity to do that. And New York said that they haven't had equity court in 200 years. They abolished equity 200 years ago. What, are you, what do you mean, sir? That's what they tried to tell us. <laughs> right? So some states will say this to you. And, and mm, on some levels it's true. But that's only, because, that's only because in modern times, because all of this stuff that people are studying, a lot of it is old as hell. It's 2018. You can notarize documents on your fucking phone. There's an app that you can notarize documents on your phone. You can cash a check with an app on your phone, okay? You can sign documents now with an app on your phone, son, okay? Okay? You can, you can record things, documents. You want to do a court and have something filed or recorded or something? You can do that online, son. Go to their website and look, at, and look it up, okay? It's 2018 son. All of these methods that a lot of these people are talking about are old as hell. The individuals who are teaching it are old as hell. Okay? It's 2018. Even though cars are not flying, they fucking should be. Okay? And it's the future. Alright? And so a lot of these things are easier than you think. And some of us or some of you <laughs> might be doing things the old way and not even know it, son. Please realize we're in the future. Look at the numbers. It's 2018, son. 
the future already. They left things the same so nobody would notice that and people wouldn't demand changes from them, right? But mm, it's the future, son. And so things what kind are of not, court? Hmm? What kind of court? It's no. It's it's it's, it's interesting. I'll tell you. At, at the post office. First of all, when you go to and I'm not telling you any post office, man. Go to the main post office, okay? All right. Don't just walk into a post office and tell them that you know. I know what this is. I know who you are. All right. Don't do that, please, because I don't want to be responsible. All right. Go to the main post office in your town. Right. When you walk in it. Okay, when you walk up to it, you're going to notice that it, that it looks familiar, right? Just stop in front of just stop in front of the main courthouse in your town and just stand outside and put your your fists on your hips, right? And just look at it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to notice that it looks just like a courthouse. <laughs> it looks like a court. Scary but true. That's would it be kind of, of like a? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, would it be kind of like a military court since that's like a military most certainly post? most certainly. Because well, I just well, learned that that's private first class is like your rank. That's why your mail comes private first class mail. <laughs> listen, if you want to bomb somebody, you have to put a stamp on it. Did you know that? Did you know I, that bombs have to have stamps on them? What so, has to happen? The, it's bond? bombs. I said a, a oh. bond. No, a bomb. If I want to blow up your, your city, right, <laughs> and drop a bomb on it, I have to put a stamp on the bomb, son. Interesting. Did you know, did you know that? <laughs> so no. I'm saying that to say that, the, that, the, that the, the overlord of commerce, which is the UPU, is the biggest military installation on the planet. The Postal Union is the biggest military installation on the planet. They run, that, that is who runs the world. And mind you, the demon Baal, because the courthouses are the temples of Baal, right? The Postal, understand that Baal is the demon of commerce. Mammon, Mammon is the demon of commerce. Pardon me, Mammon is the demon of commerce and money and, and all that stuff and the UPU is the overlord of commerce, so these seats sit next, right next to each other, and is the biggest military organization on the planet. Is the UPU the overlord of commerce? Yeah, yes, they are military for sure. The biggest military. I there would be no. There would be no wars or treaties or anything without mail. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff is easier now than it used to be. The only thing is that most of the private information... Oh, 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 man. Wow, I forgot to tell you the most important thing. Most of this information, the re what they did by creating the internet was they found a way to slowly program people out of the knowledge of books. <laughs> go to a library. Go to a big one. Don't just go to a library because me and Jasmine tried that and they had like 400 books. Libraries are pathetic now. Please go to a big library. <laughs> All of this information on how to run trust and the trustees and there's trustee books and all that stuff. Listen, go to a big library, man. All of these laws and what you can do and how to transfer this into the trust and that into the trust and all that stuff. I could give you that. But what I'm telling you is that this is something you're setting up a royal family. You're setting up a kingdom. What you're doing is you're starting a Game of Thrones, your family in the Game of Thrones. That's what you're doing. You're setting up your family. You're setting up your family and your kingdom in the Game of Thrones because that's what you're really in. If you're not setting up a family, you're one of the peasants of someone else's family, son. And whoever runs the United States Kingdom, the United States Incorporated Kingdom, 
right? You're all peasants under their kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And I'm giving you the power. You have the power to do that. You, I didn't give it to you, but I'm helping you. I'm showing you that you have the power to do the same thing that they did. You have all the paperwork now, and you have not all the information, but if you know me, you do. You have access to all the information to do the same thing. And it starts as a micronation. What's, what I'm telling you and why this is so important is because, hey, I'm not saying it's going to happen in our lifetime, but it very well might. If this country falls apart, there's going to have to be, we're going to need situations set up already so that people are not starting from scratch. And whoever has their trust in kingdoms and estates set up, right, those are going to be the lands and properties and kingdoms when everything shuts down. And if you don't have yours set up, you're going to have to end up joining somebody and being under somebody else's jurisdiction is crazy. So set up your own. You see what I'm saying? That's what this is. That's what this is all about, man. But it can be as small as you want or as big as you want. Let me say that to you, too. You can set up the trust just to run business or you can set up the trust just to hold assets or, you know, or you can set up a trust to set up a kingdom. It's going to be considered that to, to them. That's what it is regardless. So what it is is that if you don't take these steps, it's almost like you're doing it wrong. They're wondering, you know, there, there's people that will hear you saying that you're managing a trust and they might ask you certain questions and be wondering why you gave them certain answers because a trust is something that it's like a baby. Like I said, it's an entity, a living entity. So it's like a baby, and it's expected to grow. Like if your baby is five years old and it still looks like a one-year-old, people are like, yo, something's not right. <laughs> so if your trust isn't eventually turning into an empire, something's not right. That's why they say if your trust falls underneath a certain am under a certain amount of money, it's starting to die. Like it's dead. Like, you know, they need to distribute the assets to whoever gets the assets and start over because, you know? And it's in the trust indenture, too, that if the trust falls under a certain number, that you start distributing the assets. No. None of that barking crap. Knock it off, dog. <laughs> hey, Michelle, I have a question for you. Okay. I, I apologize if you answered this earlier. I was having trouble calling in. It was no, that's cool. It's cool. Trying to charge me <laughs> to call <laughs> this time, and that's never happened before. It was really weird. Whoa. But, um, Whoa. Yeah. It was saying it was going to cost like a penny a minute. And you got around it. You got around it, right? Well, yeah, but it took me a while, so I missed the first hour, so I apologize if you already covered this. But I was just wondering, because you said, you know, you can, and again, if you already talked about this, then I'll go back and listen to it, no problem, but um, I was wondering, you know, for those of us that are married, and I know you kind of said we're the king of the trust, right, so you can, can you set it up, would you recommend setting it up as like maybe a, and I don't really even like to use this word, but like a master trust or a primary trust, I guess would be a better well, word. Well, yeah, no, it's called, it's called a management trust. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. you know, how would you set it up? For a spouse spouse situation where, you know, I mean, are, are you know, do you share? Do you is it recommended to yeah, split this is split up? It's, yeah, this a, is hard is for us. Excellent. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't cover that, and that is an excellent question. Now, in the public, right? Um, if anyone on this call right now is married, the word married, right? I, I'm not speaking in regards to your relationship with your significant other, 
other, right? I'm speaking in regards to what the system considers your relationship as. Yeah, we we are well aware of that in our well. Gonna I'm gonna. I, I'm, I, I just want to cover. I just want to cover it from the from front to back. Right? Okay. And so what happened is, being that a person is a corporation. What you did was you merged two corporations, and that's why the corporation has to take one name because we can't be Pepsi and Coca-Cola if we merge. It has to be one name. You know what I'm saying? So that it's a corporate merger to them. Yeah, and that's exactly as why individuals, I'm that. As individuals, you know, as, indivi as individuals, you've done nothing. To them, okay. to them, to them, as individuals, you've done nothing. And so, and so, that's where you being baptized and holy matrimony and wedlock, those are the words that are used in the private. Marriage is a corporate merger. Right. I wish and we would so, have known that 10 years so, ago, but... <laughs> so what you do, and so what happens is when you set up the trust, right, um, this would be handled in the family trust, right? So the man now, now let me, let me, oh, let me. This is this gets intricate here, because once you create the trust for your um, for your new name, you're not going to connect that to your actual to you um, to the wedlock. The wedlock is private between you and your spouse or you and your significant other. So that's a private contract between the two of you as individuals and has nothing to do with the trust, any trust. Okay. Right. And that and that is just you two making a promise to God that this is what you're gonna do for each other forever. And so that promise to God is called holy matrimony. And you would be in it would be called wedlock, and that has paperwork that you know we provide for you from the church and everything, and so we have that for you too, and um yeah, that covers you in the private, and everything that you need to go private is in the private trust manual, from your phones to your internet service i p n to um, getting a house to getting a car to passports um, yeah all of that's in the private trust book and which you guys should have if you sent me an email address you should have all of the trust documents and the private trust manual and some notes on how private trust and real estate go together all of that you should have already if you sent me your email address. And if you read the articles in the community on my website, you will learn what to do with all of this stuff that you have in your email. Because I had two people, uh, after I sent them the stuff, they're like, wow, this is, I don't know, where do I start, Machete? I'm like, look, man, go to the manual and start with step one. <laughs> don't, don't overwhelm yourself with, oh, this one says promissory notes, so how do we use the... Listen, son, follow the steps, man. Go to step one and handle that first. Like, if you don't, if your trust, listen, I tell you something else. It is very dangerous to not have your trust fully set up. First of all, if it's not fully set up to so everyone, the private and the public, is considered as not active. So you would be lying to say that. And that's why, and ooh, listen, and that's why so many people sound crazy to me saying, I already have a trust set up, Miss Shady. I already, no, I don't need your help with that. I already have a trust, Miss Shady. I'm like, okay, first of all, you're not supposed to be saying I have a trust, right? So I already know that you were taught wrong. But I ask, I start asking certain questions. Do you have such and such? Do you have such and such? Do you have such and such? Is everybody in place? Is the trust running? Is it making its own money? Is it, you know what I'm saying? You know, bank account? You know what I'm saying? And they're like, no, well, not yet. But, son, that means you didn't take all the steps. That means that your trust is not activated yet. 
So it's not even alive. You know what I'm saying? You still you 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 still have Frankenstein laying on the table, and you didn't shock him into it's not alive yet. So when people are talking like this, they're actually wrong, and sound crazy to people that know what they're talking about. So you have to take all of these steps, man. You can't do squat with a promissory note or a trust capital unit if you haven't taken all the steps to set up your trust yet. You can't do business or try to start making money if you don't have the EIN number and trust account set up. You know what I'm saying? Like, so don't even concern yourself and see that what it is is this greed. Don't let greed overcome you. Oh, I see it says here how to get credit cards. Should you trust me, Shady? I want and un is this the is this how the black card works? N son, shut up. Listen, don't worry about that. You'll get it as you're taking the steps. You'll start to get it because when you take step one and you go to step two you'll understand why you took step one you're like oh I just did that because I have to do this now right so you will start getting it as you're doing it you know what I mean you can't read about basketball for five years and be a good basketball player you have to fucking go out there and take some shots <laughs> and dribble man you know what I'm saying like there are some things that you have to do to get good at. You can't get good at trust without doing it. You're going to be learning as you do. When you get jobs, you can't know how that job works by reading about it. You have to work, B, and while you're working, you'll be understanding and getting it. Oh, so I should line these up next to each other and then finish these and then line them up, line the rest of them up and finish, and then I'll finish faster. I get how this works now. You'll get it by doing it. You know what I'm saying? And then you have me to ask questions while you're doing it. Because seriously, everybody that's on this call, everybody that, you know, that's one of my clients, seriously, between 45 and 60 days, you should very well be making four to five figures, seriously. And you, and I don't, I've had very many, listen, I almost had every job, <laughs> almost, almost, I would say it was about 10, 20 jobs. You know, regular, standard, regular jobs that I haven't had, man. Like, I've almost done all of it, and I don't care what you're doing. You're not making that. I don't care what you're doing. You're not making that. Unless you're already, you know, in real estate something, you know what I'm saying? But, but just working, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. You're not making $20,000 in four weeks. Fucking forget about it. You're not, you're not making $10,000 in four weeks. N no one. No one at no job because you wouldn't be an employee if you was making that much money. You'd be one of the bosses. I mean, forget about it. So, so once your trust is doing that, you'll start thinking different. And when you realize that you can go to Craigslist and look up rent to own homes and and put the and 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 go to the filter and click and and type I don't know a thousand dollars eleven hundred dollars right right and see what kind of house you can move into Just look look type type eight hundred dollars look up rent to own houses and type eight hundred dollars. And look at what the house, could, what the garage looks like, what the yard looks like. Come on, son. Like, come on, man. Yeah, you'll change how you think about things, man. And you'll be like, yo, this is what they were doing all this time. And we were struggling. We And listen, even people that start businesses are struggling. They're laughing at us, man, because it is not that hard, yo. It's not. It's not that hard. It's not. And I'm trying to show you how easy it is. And what is making it difficult? That your brain is forcing it to be complicated because you can't believe that it's that easy. 
But that's not my fault. And it's not the information. It's not how I'm purveying it. It's that, it's, that, it's that the programming is deep, son. And you have to break it. And that's why I put the deep programming video on my website. Watch it over and over again. Listen to it over and over again. Google all of the keywords that I use in that video. But the programming is deep. And you can't believe that it's that easy. You can't believe that you could buy and sell houses with no money, machining. How do you do that, right? I'll tell you how to do that. You tell somebody, hey, listen, you selling your house? Yeah, I'm selling my house. Look, I'll sell your house for you. You don't have to go through none of that. You don't deal with no realtors. You don't have to deal with banks and none of that. I'll sell your house for you. Oh, okay. And what I need it sold like yesterday. That's why I'm calling you because I can sell it fast. You've seen I already have investors that are ready to buy your crib. Are you ready? You know what I'm saying? And then you could add your assignment fee for because they're going to give you a contract. You give them a contract. It's called an assignment contract. That assignment contract gives you the right to assign the property to someone else. You can sell. Now you have the right to sell the property to someone else. Right? So what happens is you add your fee into that assignment contract. When you find somebody to buy their house, they pay the money, you take your cut, they get their money, and you do it again. And where did you spend money at? Explain where you spent money at. You didn't. And you can do it over and over again. And you can do it with cars and boats and planes and whatever the fuck you want to do it with. And there's so much money in it that it's crazy. And doing and they're laughing at us they're laughing at us man that's what they're doing they're finding that are selling houses they're going to those people and they're saying hey I want to buy your house I know people that if I can't buy it they'll buy it and we can do it in I don't know seven days ten the most right and they're like whoa I, I was hoping to sell this within two months, right? And no, no, listen, seven, ten days, tops, forget it. And they're like, oh, my God, you, so how are you going to do that? You explain it to them. You give them the contract. They're like, okay, here, they sign the assignment contract. You take that assignment contract. You contact your buyers because you have to find sellers and buyers. You have to develop a list of buyers, a list of sellers. Then you connect them and make money, son. You don't spend nothing to do this. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing, man. You want to find out how I'm doing it with cars? It's called a consignment contract. Not an assignment contract. It's called a consignment contract. Where you find somebody with a car and say, hey, I'll sell your car for you. Or how you... You explain it to them, and you give them a consignment contract. They sign it. Now you have the right to sell their car and make money for finding someone to buy their car from them. Did you spend money doing that? No, but you're buying and selling cars. One of the cool things is if you're doing it locally, they actually bring the car to you because you're the one that cleans up the car and takes pictures and everything. So you actually get to drive it. You know what I'm saying? Or... Or operate it, whatever word you want to use, right? You get to operate the automobile, right, while you're selling it. Forget about it. Did you spend any money? You didn't. You didn't, Michelle. You had to buy gas. Don't be petty. You didn't spend money <laughs> to, to get this car. You didn't spend money to get into the business of buying and selling cars either. I'm selling someone's car right now, and I'm about to make between $2,000 and $3,500 on it as soon as somebody buys it. Okay? Right? And I didn't spend any money to do this. It could be a friend. It could be people's cars that have for sale signs on them. You can contact those people and say, I can sell your car easy, man. Like, I can sell your car, I don't know, but I'll sell it faster than you're selling it. It was sitting out here for two months, right? You see what I'm saying? 
and you let them know you can sell their car for you can sell their car for them, and you just add five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars to it, however much you can stack on it, depending on what kind of car it is, and you just do it over and over again. Contact all the people, ride around, find all the cars for sale with the little facade, with these little signs on them, with the marker price and phone number on them, and you contact them and say, "I'll sell your car for you." Not that one, the big one with the jacket. But yeah. And that's what these people are doing. And that's what I'm saying you could do. And that doesn't have to be the business that you get into. But I'm telling you how to fund the trust easy and make a lot of money fast. You want to get land. You want to feed the homeless. You want to, you know what I'm saying? However you, whatever you want to do, you'll be able to do it, man. Also, with assignment contracts, you don't have to go to a house. You don't have to rehab it or fix it up or nothing that's not you have nothing to do with any of that all you're doing is finding someone that wants to buy the house they take care of that you just have the right now to sell it to them because the seller doesn't want to go through it they don't want to bother with that they don't want to deal with a realtor they don't want to pay the price that it costs to put their house up on these websites to the listing prices they don't want to go through the attorneys and the banks or avoid that they get you to sell it for them did you know that there was escrow there's an escrow app on you can do all of this also let me explain you can do all of this on your phone son it's called virtual look it up it's called virtual real estate investing because it's 2018 and all of these old dudes riding around looking for houses and meeting with people and going to noted courthouses and all of that they're old and they're doing it the old way and so and there's apps for all of that <laughs> on your phone you can handle an entire real estate transaction on your phone you can handle real estate transactions from beginning from finding the seller to cashing your check you can do all of it with apps on your phone seriously and if and if making thousands of dollars can be made easier to do son let me know but I'm trying to tell y'all why they're laughing at us and what they're doing now let me explain something to you if you make between five and ten thousand dollars on closing your first property what do you give a shit about debt for you owe somebody eight hundred dollars somewhere and sixteen hundred dollars somewhere else you make ten thousand dollars every deal you don't care you're not gonna care about debt anymore no one's you're not gonna care about it anymore you're not gonna care about it anymore you can just pay them and so what all oh, this debt is fraudulent anyway I rent I'm gonna fight this they're not gonna extort me what are you being greedy for you just made a free ten thousand dollars get them out of your hair son <laughs> B, listen, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. How far are you going to get with your debt? And how far are you going to get with your debt in the next 45 to 60 days? How you're doing it? How far are you going to get? Are you uh, how far are you going to get with your debt in that long? However you do it, you know what I'm saying. I don't care who you get to do it. You know what I mean? How far are you going to get in 45 to 60 days with your debt? I'm telling you, you can make 10 grand. In less than that, oh, man, I don't want them to laugh at you too, son. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm trying. Look, I found out what's going on, and I'm trying to tell people, son, so that it could things could change, man. What Robin Hood should have been taking was information. <laughs> what Robin Hood should have been doing was finding out what the hell how they did all that shit and then went back to the poor and told them how they made all that money and why they why y'all poor and why they rich he should have been 
stealing information. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm doing with you guys right now. Matter of fact, somebody got mad in the group, son. Somebody got mad. I'm not saying no names because I'm a rapper and I was trained not to say no names. But somebody got mad at me in the group and shit, right? And, I, and look, I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm not scrolling for five minutes up to see what, who said what yesterday and all that shit. I'm not doing it, son. Sorry. I'm not doing it. That's why I tell people to message me. You have something to say, message me. You have a question, message me. But I heard, though, that somebody called me a fraud. I'm fraudulent and all this crazy shit. Listen, nothing that I told you was false. The only way that it won't work is if you don't do it, and that's your fault. <laughs> okay? It's already our fault for not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's people out there doing it laughing at us. They're laughing at you trying to authenticate your birth certificate and get money out of your account. How long is that going to take? They're making ten, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars per month, laughing at you while you're trying to. Oh my God! And they're not spending money to do it. How much money did you spend already? It's crazy, people. I'm trying to help you, son. Nothing that I told you is false. Everything that I told you is possible. It's so possible that I'm actually, you can go to my website. I'm doing everything that I'm telling you, son. I'm doing everything I'm telling you. The, my mentor actually gave me a house to sell. The only reason why I didn't, why I haven't sold my first house yet is because somebody bought that one on her side already. Like you know, somebody that she knows bought it from her. So. I'm working on my next house. But the car that I'm selling is up for sale and I'm about to get more cars. And if and actually I'm gonna tell you something else another way to make money. Edmonds. I don't know if you guys heard of Edmonds, but they're like the car people. You wanna buy a car, you go to Edmonds and you find a car online and everything, right? Edmonds is huge, right? They have an affiliate program. I make money off of every car that people buy from Edmonds. So on my website, it says, oh, you don't see a car that you like here? You don't see a car you like? Click here for more cars. And it will take you to Edmonds to my affiliate link, and people will be buying cars from Edmonds, and I'll get money off of every car that's sold. You can do the same thing. The catch is... I had to have an EIN number. Oh, I got one of those. The trust. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to show y'all. <laughs> trying to show you how to do this, yo. And you don't have to kick your own ass to do it. And you don't have to go to a secretary of state or a anything. Okay? Look, the people that taught me how to do this, the Department of Justice tried to shut them down. The Department of Justice tried to shut them down. And it didn't work. Okay? They beat, they beat the Department of Justice. Okay? I had them teach me how to set up private trust. In me being taught how to set up private trust, she didn't bring up birth certificates once. People, not one time. When I started talking about this stuff, she said, I don't care about that. I tried that before in my life, and it made my life difficult. Didn't do anything but made my life difficult. <laughs> right? I don't care about that. I do this now. That's what she said. And based on what I learned from her and from studying on my own, is that, yeah, no, you don't need that. You're not going to need it. Okay? If you wanted to really go hard 
right? You could say, mm, screw houses. Why make five, ten thousand dollars a month when I can do the same thing with buildings, okay? And casinos and shit. It, okay, with cars, it's called a consignment contract. That's how you buy and sell cars without using your own money. You find sellers that are selling cars. You find buyers that are buying cars. You connect them and make your money in the middle. When you do it with houses, it's called an assignment contract. When you do it with commercial real estate, which is in the millions, son, it's called a master lease. Whatever. They're different contracts. Fine. What a, you need a master lease to give me the ability to sell this building to somebody else? Whatever. How much is the building? Fourteen million? Okay. My finder's fee for that? <laughs> oh my god. That's what these people are doing and I'm trying to tell you that it's not costing them any money to do this. All they're doing is using papers. They're using papers to do this and they're doing it all virtually on the internet with their phones. The ones that are, you know, the ones that are doing it virtually because everybody's not up on that. Like I can charge people to teach them how to do what I'm telling y'all. And there are people out there that charge to, t to teach real estate agents and people that are real estate wholesalers and rehabbers. There's people that charge them to teach them how to virtually run their business. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you can do everything I'm telling you from your phone. From your phone. Seriously. Google things as I say them. I dare you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I dare you to Google things as I say them. I dare you. They're laughing at you. Stop asking me about the birth certificate. Stop asking me about... J Listen, there's certain things that won't make sense to you. And the only reason why I sound like this is because I know once you get it, they're going to sound ridiculous to you too so please don't take how i'm how i how i talk about certain things don't take them as insults it's only because i know when you figure it out when you get it it's going to sound you're going to be like damn i sounded crazy to myself what was i saying you're going to and when other people are talking to you they're going to sound ridiculous to you too okay it's 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 cool don't worry about how I only sound like this because I know once you get it, it's going to sound crazy to you too. You're going to close a deal on a house and make $10,000 and say to yourself, what was I talking about a job for, son? I can just do this again tomorrow or next week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Seriously, what am I working for somebody else for? I make more money than you, son. I just made $10,000 in 10 days, son. The fuck am I working for you for? Like, I'm out of here, son. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, yo, Machete. Yo. What about the negative entity uh, removal? Is that an option? What you mean as an option? Because the whole point of me teaching all this is because that's my job. So I'm doing this because I'm helping people to remove the negative entity from themselves. It's actually, a, it's actually, uh, it's actually a remote exorcism. Is what I'm doing. Is I'm helping people remove the negative entities from themselves. So you know, I'm. So it's not really. It's not really relative to debt. It's not really. It's not really relative to debt. Like helping other people. Like that's not out to make you get um get up. What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait, say that again, because I heard no, there was noise in the background. No, I was saying like as just means to make ends. You know what I mean? Like you're saying that that's an option. Like fixing uh, the credit, even though you're not in it. You know what I mean? Well, well, what do you mean? Because what it is is that your trust builds credit. 
And so you'll be at the trust. Everything will be in a trust name. Oh, let me tell you. Something. Right. Not not saying not saying you per se. I'm saying like the people who still stuck in the matrix, like the people that you know what I mean. Yeah, what about them? What about them? What is your question? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, I was, I was saying it's because, you know, you, uh, you know, besides real estate, I was seeing was that one of the options, like, you know, how people be cleaning credit and all of that. And that. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. Let me say this, too. Let me say this, too. You don't have to be private to do what I'm telling you right now you don't have to you don't have to be private at all to buy and sell real estate you can start this right now without a trust you can do the real estate thing without a trust these people are just regular people that are buying and selling houses and cars and buildings and shit these, these are regular people these people are coming to me because they're finding out that it will be easier for them to buy and sell houses and cars and stuff with, but by using a trust. You're trying to tell me if I buy and sell houses using a trust, I don't have to pay taxes, Machete? You're trying to tell me that I could do it under a trust and I'm not liable for it? Yes. They're like, hey, look. I know real estate, but you know trust, and I need to talk to you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Or I have some real estate people that are actually my clients right now, like two or three real estate agents right now that are my clients. And so, yeah, <laughs> you could, regular people could do this and get rid of their debt by making 10000 in uh, two, three months. Yeah, yeah, man. And the only reason why I say it takes that long is because you got to set up shop. You can't, you know, you got to set up shop. You have to, you know, there's things you have to set up. You have to find a list of sellers. You have to find a list of buyers. You have to know what you're going to say. You have to have your letters together, what you're going to send. You're going to have to know, you know, the different ways of finding buyers and sellers. You have to find which way works for you. Yeah, I mean, you have to learn how to use the apps. You have to get your people in place that's going to help you do this. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you're going you're gonna to be setting up for a second, but after that, it's like snapping your fingers, man. Seriously. Once it starts, forget about it. Listen. I have so, a go ahead, go ahead. I was going to ask about that. When you're writing these, I, I haven't looked at any of the apps, but when you're writing these um, consignment contracts and things like that, do you have to have a real estate license? Now nope. I know in the public, yeah, but what about when you're in the private? Nope, nope. No. And you don't, okay. and you don't, and you don't need a real estate license in the public either, son. I'm telling you, regular people are doing this. Regular, plain okay. old persons are, and the reason is because of the assignment. Because you're us, because they're assigning the sale of the property to you, right? That gives you the right. The legal, the lawful right <laughs> to 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 offer and sell the property to someone else. Okay. So what happens is you can play the middleman legally with an assignment contract. Now, because because all you're doing is pretty much it's like a finder's fee. You know what I'm saying? It's like a finder's fee. All you're doing is finding uh, uh, sellers for, I mean, buyers for the sellers, right? So, And you're getting paid a finder's fee. Now, sometimes they call it a marketing fee because what you did was you marketed the property for them. You marketed the car for them. So there's certain terms that you have to use in your contracts to keep you safe so that you can't be held liable for having or not having a license because then certain things you do fall under real estate brokering and you don't want that so using the word assignor assignee in the contract certain words that you put in the contract keep you safe and okay. no you do not you do not need a license to do this like when you look it up look it up buy and sell real estate without a license how or, or, or put assignment contracts and then buy and sell real estate without a license look it up that's what All I'm right. trying to tell you. These people are... Matter of fact, you want me to... I don't know. I, yeah, I'm going to piss you off on purpose. Listen, there are teenagers buying and selling real estate right now 
that are sitting in nice cars with big ass fucking houses and we are in our um, 20s, 30s, 40s. You know what I'm saying? These are teenagers that are making that. Are, listen, son. <laughs> These are teenagers, kids, man. Yeah, you, you wonder why they don't listen to grown ups. <laughs> you wonder why they don't. Because, first of all, the grown ups fucked everything up and can't explain to the kids how it happened. And then, next of all, we're trying to give them advice, and none of us have money or are happy or everybody's struggling. So, what are the kids listening to y'all for? And it's funny because that's what happened to me when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? All I heard my father say when he met somebody, yo, what's up, Mike? And he would say, eh, you know, just trying to make ends meet or, you know, struggling or, you know what I mean? Or we was at the racetrack, at the horse track, you know what I'm saying? Gambling so he could make money or he would lose the money or, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I've seen all my life. So I grew up like, yo, son, I don't want to do that. Whatever the hell you doing, I don't want to do that. My mother's a, a nurse. My father's a bus driver. And you niggas are struggling, obviously. I got to do some other shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, two people together with good jobs is not enough, obviously. So I got to do something else. So, you know, I, I was always different, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what happened to me. And so these kids are looking at us like, oh, son, like, y'all, I'm buying and selling houses. I'm sitting in, you know what I mean? I just bought my third car, like, you know what I mean? And I'm not telling you to, to, to want excess. I'm not telling you to want money, but God wants us to be okay, son. And he said that, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you, because he knows what you need, right? And so, because you did that, I'm here telling you that you could just go get stuff now. And it only happened to me. I only learned it because I said, I'm going to do this God's way. Whatever he says and tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do. And I don't care what nobody else say. I'm not budging. I'm not folding. I don't care. And because I did that, <laughs> I learned all this stuff. <laughs> so I said, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell people. But I knew that I couldn't just tell anybody because I can't be in the middle of hell telling the possessed and the dead about the kingdom of heaven and starting your own kingdom and all of that. I'll get my ass shot off. I know that. So what I had to do was look for the people that were willing to choose sides and join us and seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. The people that were seeking it already, seeking God's kingdom, seeking how the freedom and getting out of the, the. I had to find those people, and then I said, okay, I'll tell them because they're already seeking this. And when you seek this, you get this. And but since I know, I guess I'll tell them how to do it <laughs> because they earned that because they seek. They already, you know what I mean? So. That's where you are, and I'm trying to tell you guys that it's over for you already if you just break the programming, okay? It's just break it. And, and oh, 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 very important, very important. Something that's keeping you from understanding all of the shit that I'm saying is that you refuse to let go of the miseducation that you got previously, it's a miseducation because you don't need it. Any of that crap. It hurts. Okay? But yes, you learned all of that for nothing because you don't need it. It is good to know. You didn't learn it for nothing, but I'm saying the work to try to get yourself out of some shit by using that was totally, you just didn't need it. Yet you didn't have to jump through flames of fire to be free. You didn't have to jump through flames of fire to have access to unlimited income. Like, you didn't have, you don't have to do that. And while everybody's doing that, nobody's getting it. That is one of the torments of hell. When you're constantly trying to get something that you can't never, when that you seem to can't reach. It's right there, but you just can't reach it. That's a torment of hell, people. Please get it. That you've been spending years trying to get to something that you just mm, can't seem to get. That's hell, B. 
<laughs> it's a trick. It's a trap. Knock it off. What, look, leave it alone, son. Okay, you can go private, disappear, have your phone private, your computer private, your address private, your, your everything. Okay, you can do that without doing that. Okay, you can make as much, however much you want to. Nobody can stop you. There's no cap on how much you can make per month. I'm only throwing these numbers out there so nobody says that. Machete, you said that I would make $100,000 in 90 days. And mm, the way we see it, that's impossible. Look, I don't want to exaggerate. I don't want to throw it out there, throw big numbers out there. You know what I mean? If, some, if most people's will is not there. But I tell you what, if you decided to... To, do, to work commercial real estate first, if you decided to, to get to buckle down and study what I teach you on commercial real estate, because that's what Machete's 11 is all about. Machete's 11 is that I'm looking for 11 people and we're going to go out there and pull these heists off. We're going to pull off these commercial real estate deals and those are in the millions. So it's something like robbing a bank legally, for real, for real, because, you know, we, we, you know, we work a single multi-million dollar real estate deal. That's us splitting at least a million dollars or something close to it. 11 ways and so what man that we're all coming out of this with a hundred thousand dollars like just for closing one deal on one building and then we can go and do the next one we can go do this casino over here or we could go do this hospital or we could go do this apartment complex next listen man I, that's why you see the machetes 11 you know what I'm saying up there that's what that's that is because I want to find 11 people that's going to take the 11 positions that I need and we're gonna go work commercial real estate, but it has to be people that are already that already like that kind that get it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I want everybody to get started in real estate first before they could just say I want to be part of the machines living. Nah, you know what I mean? So the only people that that's part of that is the people like I got people that's already like my mentor is one of Machete's eleven. That's because she already works real estate. So what we're working is commercial real estate. She already knows what she's doing. I already know what I'm doing. So it's people that already know what they're doing that will be joining Machete's eleven. But What's happening is once we're closing these commercial deals, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to do it. <laughs> and I could teach you how to do it now. And you could try, you could go try to do it on your own, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, you got to set up a team like I'm doing. So, you know, that's what I'm doing it for. I'm setting up Machetes 11 because I'm going to take 11 people and we're going to go start. <laughs> knocking off these commercial deals because it's bananas my gosh man there's a guy in Africa right now he has a ministry a church where you know they're feeding people and clothing people and he contacted me out of nowhere asking me to be a director for his ministry to help them out there in Africa or something I, I I don't know how he found me. I at first didn't know what the hell he was talking about. But just naturally, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll help you. But you know how you got to watch out for those foreign messages where they ask you to help people and all that. And you're saying, well, you're going to be asking for my bank account and routing number and you know, that shit because I'm not falling for those foreign schemes, buddy. Right? So, so I'm leery of what he's talking about because, you know, I got to look out for those, especially messages, <laughs> especially messages out of nowhere. So... You know, but after I talked to him, yeah, he got pictures. They, yeah, they feed kids in Africa, and he wanted he wants me to be a director. <laughs> and I'm like, I already have a church. You have to be a director for yours. I, I yeah, I want to. I'll help you, but I, we can merge or something. Uh, you know, branch off somehow with each other. But you know, but yeah, I'll help you. So yeah, man, I close these deals. I'm gonna be. Listen, man, I don't need nothing. Okay, like. I don't need I don't need anything. I might some of you might have heard me say this before, some of you might not, but a year or two ago, no, it was 
it was longer than that, about three years ago, um, I noticed that I wasn't doing anything for myself. Like, I'm making money, but I'm not buying myself anything, right? And I said, you know what? I don't. I, I never ask God for anything for myself, right? I'm always asking, praying for other people, or just you know, praying in general. But I never ask Him for anything, right? So I said, I'm gonna ask God for something one time, right? And you know that when I tried to think about what to ask Him for, I couldn't think of nothing, and and something about me not being able to think of anything to ask Him for made me start crying out of nowhere like as my eyes just started watering and I don't know what kind of reaction or what that what that was you know what I'm saying but when I just finally decided to ask God for something and I don't have I'm not rich or none of that so like sometimes some look the end of the month sometimes scary so get around 28 from shit you know what I'm saying so you know I'm not rich at all not yet you know what I'm saying? But I couldn't think of anything to ask him for. So I'm not telling anybody to go chase money. I'm not telling anybody, you know, to, to care about money or none of that. Or, you know what I mean? We're supposed to use this to help other people. We're supposed to use the information to help other people. We're supposed to use the, what we make to help other people. The tr trusts are not set up for us. Trust is set up for the kids, for your family, for the generations to come. So they'll be straight so they don't have to go through any of this. You're setting up a jurisdiction for them so that they don't have to grow up under the United States jurisdiction. You see what I'm saying? Your trust is supposed to grow to the point where it has its own land and its own schools and libraries and you know what I'm saying? That's what the that's what your that's what the trust is a seed for that. And it could grow as big as you let it. And you can help you can oh my gosh, you can help so many people in so many ways, like and that's what that's what I'm saying, like the changes that we try to make they're not big enough, right? You know what I'm saying? They're not big enough. They're not having the impact that we really need them to have to make the changes that we really need to be made. So I found out that by using trust, you can do this. You can make big changes that will spread, especially if you're, te you're teaching other people how to set up trust and you're setting up other generations to grow up underneath a whole separate jurisdiction than the United States. The more people that do that, the United States jurisdiction and power will get smaller and smaller, man. Please look at the bigger picture that I'm trying to, look at what I'm trying to do here, man. Just be a part of that. That's what you, that's what you, that's what you decided to be a part of. Right? I'm trying to I'm trying to help I'm trying to help foster the rise of kings again. The kings need to rise again because the most important thing that happened in history and the and the one thing that has been spoken the least about is the fact that in order to set up all of this stuff that we're trying to get out of, the first thing that they did was they eliminated all the kings because they couldn't pull this shit off with a bunch of kings and armies and knights and they couldn't pull this off like that with that going on so they had to get rid of all of the kings first then all there was left was just peasants everywhere and they was able to take over all the countries all of the continents they was able to do that but they had to get rid of all the kings first. Please understand that that's what they did. So in order to fix this shit, we need to, kings and queens need to rise again. Kings, queens, and kingdoms. Okay? Under the kingdom of heaven flag need to rise again. That's what's missing. That's how we make change. The rise of kings and queens is missing. That's what no one's talking about. And setting up your private trust is the seed for that. 
You set up your, your Game of Thrones family. You decide how it's going to run. You decide what your family crest is going to look like. You decide what colors, <laughs> right, what your colors are going to be. You look for a piece of land, and you you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can set up your own schools. You can set up. You have to set up your own court, <coughs> which is a bank. But you have to set up your own postal. You have to be. You have to set up your own postmaster general. You need your own postmaster general because you have a. You have an estate, which is a state. That's why they teach you how to become the postmaster general, but they don't teach you that it's because an estate is a state, which is a kingdom. They don't tell you that. And that's why I don't understand all these people, all these gurus out here teaching people this stuff. They're not teaching them everything. So people are not getting what they're talking about because you're not telling them everything. Tell them that they're setting up a kingdom. Tell them that they're setting up a micro nation, that they need a court and that they need a judge and that they need a bank. They have to set up their own bank and they, they need to set up their own postal service. They need to, yes, tell them that. Tell them that they could take a trust to a car dealership and, and use promissory notes to get a fleet of cars. Tell them that. And then tell them how. And tell them why it will work. Show them how other people are doing it. Don't just teach them about trust and, yes, promissory notes. Yes, and you'll be able to promissory notes. You'll be able to discharge that and buy. And so, yeah. No, son, don't do that and get them all excited and they don't really understand what you're saying because you're going to have people trying to fill out and sign and go buy stuff with promissory notes and go to jail, son, because they don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell them everything, please. Tell them that the reason why they could do this is because they set up their own state. And so their own state has its own jurisdiction. And so a state with its own jurisdiction has its own papers. It has its own economy. It could write up its own promissory notes. It could make its own contracts and deals and treaties and shit, man. It has the right to do this, whereas an individual person can't. Can't. And will go to jail for trying it. Because <laughs> who do you think you are? What do you think you are? You're not that, so you can't, and we're locking you up. You're crazy. Because obviously somebody didn't teach you the whole deal. That's all these people are getting locked up for is because somebody didn't teach you everything. I know my rights, and I know that I can such and such, such and such. Well, do you know why you're even saying that? And if you can do it, do you know why you can do it? Oh, no, but I can. <laughs> yeah, if you can't explain that to your court-appointed lawyer or to your attorney or to anyone, you're going to stay here. <laughs> you're going to... <laughs> Until we figure out what to do with you. Yeah, but if you know that you are a tr you are a grantor or general manager or right of a trust, and that you know that you're that you have your own that you can call your people, and you're not under their jurisdiction, and you none of none you know that none of this happens to these people. You have any idea the amount of crimes that rich people commit, son, and don't go to jail for it. Please understand, it's because they call it diplomatic immunity. That's what they call it. They call it, they call it. But that's because they're treated like foreign people that can't be held under the laws of a whole other kingdom. Like, I'm not under your laws. Like, I have is... You, the indenture is the set of laws that you're under. And those and that indenture is under the 1611, which is supposed to be. Because if you don't do that then your laws have no evidence of law. 
<laughs> so evident. But yeah. So, you know, I think that covers pretty much what people are asking other than, you know, going to my website and Oh, listen, by learning by reading the trust documents, you'll be learning how a trust works. And a lot of your questions will be answered if you will read the indenture. It's 48 pages. So what? You can't read a 48-page book. This is the most important step you're ever going to take in your entire life. Son. Read everything. It's important. The only reason why we're in this mess is because we didn't fucking read the other stuff that we signed our whole lives. Please understand that this is the most important decision you're going to make in your life for you and your family. So not reading this thoroughly over and over again really shows how much you care about yourself and your family. And I don't care how harsh that is. It's true. However much you put into studying trust and learning how they work and doing it is how much you care about yourself and your family, son. And there are very important families out there that will tell you that what this man is saying is true. And everything that you need to do it is already out there. I already gave it to you. You just have to go do it. Learn it and do it. And it doesn't take long to learn. It's very simple. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Break the program and forget all that other stuff that you don't need that. Please, look at it as two different classes. You don't go from science to math and you're confused in your math class because you're thinking about science. So why are you doing that now as adults when you knew how to separate subjects when you was a kid? Take all of that sovereign citizen secured party crap and put it to this whole nother class, okay? Put that to the side. This is science now. This is, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a whole nother subject. Stop trying to mix them together. They don't go together. They don't go together. Stop trying to mix them. Okay? That SESTA KV birth certificate trust shit, that's some whole other, that's, it has, it has, the only thing that it has to do with this is that it's attached to you and you want to create a trust. That's the only thing. That, that's the only way they're connected is because that it's there. You know what I'm saying? Do not connect these two things anymore because they don't go together. They don't go together. <laughs> Look, you're not supposed to mix the public and the private. That's called commingling anyway in the first place. So why would people try to take the birth certificate and combine it with the private trust in any type of way in the first place? That's the first rule. That's the first don't in private trust is you're not supposed to mix the public and the private. You're not supposed to mix the knowledge of good and evil. You're not supposed to mix. Listen, yes, it's all the same. You don't mix the public and the private. You're right. Yes. No. You never do that. Never do that. So why is everyone asking me questions about how? And I'm not talking about y'all in particular. I'm talking about anybody in particular. But I get these questions all the time. And it sounds ridiculous to me. Why are you asking me questions about combining the public and the private? Or how you can do it? Or how it would work if I take this and put it with this? Or how can I take this? and get this from this. What the f What, son? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't make logical or common sense. If you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. You're not supposed to mix the public and the private. I would hope that out of everything people studied and learned, that you learned that. So why... Would you ask about why would you wonder? No, don't even don't even put me in the equation. Why would you wonder by yourself in your bedroom at night? Why would you wonder about how to combine them or how they work together if you if you know that you're not supposed to mix the public and the private? How does it make sense to you? Why are you trying to accomplish this? That's why people are having problems. 
that's why people are coming to me and asking me about private trust and when they start learning what I teach them they're like oh no this is not what I thought it was I want my money back I thought that I was son you were fucking confused and you don't know what you're talking about you were taught wrong and I'm trying to teach you the right way and shit but you know what I'm saying whatever son but it shouldn't make sense to you so please right when you're studying this when you're learning this when you're trying to make this work please separate those two things from each other because they have nothing to do with each other and you don't need it you're not going to need it to make a hundred thousand dollars to make two hundred thousand dollars in the next it's gonna be you should make way more than that in the next twelve months but but Listen, it's, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that to go private. You don't have to do that. These people are not do. The people that are private didn't do that, son. The people that are in the private sector, son, they didn't do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna really. I'm gonna make it really simple. You know what they did? They found out that they was working for a company, and they said, "Oh shit, I quit." And they started their own company. Hence Walt Disney. Hence Pepsi. They are private and not under the, <laughs> the United States jurisdiction. They have their own money. They have their own police. They ha Yeah, son. Yeah. And have made weight gazillions of dollars. Son, doing it. Didn't have to pay taxes. Didn't have to worry about go, going to jail. These people are corporate criminals, man. Now you know why they don't get locked up. But I think that would end this call. I don't know how long we were on it for, but I think it was good. I think we, I think I covered a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, but I gotta go though. And it sounds quiet, but I hope everybody's still in. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. And, and um, yeah, we'll do this some more. It's not over. Classes are over. School is over. But this isn't over. So, until the next conference call, and I know, you know, we'll post this recording soon, so it'll be up for your downloading and reviewing in a day or two, and I hope I answered most of you guys' questions, and you can use the private trust manual and my website for most of your other answers if not all but you know we'll have more calls when we do this so you guys enjoy your evening or your afternoon because some of you guys it's like the sun is still out Machete. What, yo hey uh, get get back with me with the uh, with the how, how to put the cars in, in the trust yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me a message on my website. That's how I won't forget you or what we talked about. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, let me say this too before I get off. It is not easy for for me to remember your real name, your Facebook name, your email address. Is like is a is a hundred plus people that I deal with all the time, randomly at different times. So it's hard to remember who everybody is or what I talk to who about what last. So please message me from my website so that I can have all of our conversations lined up and I'll know what we talked about and it'll all be right there. I use my website and send me messages. Plus on my phone I get notifications from Wix and I always pick those up because sometimes it's clients. I'm not trying to miss that. So whenever I get a message on, and plus when people are on my website, I like to, <laughs> I like to scare them. <laughs> but I like to help people while they're on my website, you know, because, you know, when you go to my website, I'll see you there. 
I'll see what state you're from. It'll say somebody from such and such, such and such is on the, I'll know what page you're on, is on the Van Helsing auto page. I'll be like, word, somebody's on the Van Helsing auto page? And I'll hit them. I'll be like, oh, so you're looking for a car? They'll be like, oh, shit. I, I, I scare people sometimes. It's like somebody's in there watching them and shit. You know what I mean, but whenever somebody does something on my on my website, I get a I get a notification. So contact me through there. It's so easy, and I'll respond to you faster that way. And it helps me not forget you, man. Because I could I could forget, and it's not like I'm forgetful. But I deal with so many people that it's impossible for me to remember a hundred people. All three of everybody's names, what we talked about, what they asked for, what they, you know what I'm saying? It's hard, man. So just constantly talk to me, and then you'll be straight. But if you don't do that, I'll fuck around and forget you. And then you're going to get mad at me. But how am I supposed to pay attention to just you when I'm trying to help the whole world, B? you got to remind me. you got to remind me. You know what I'm saying? This is not this not a special ed class. This is is fifty students in this class. Like yeah, yeah, I need to y'all gotta remind me of stuff. Sounds good, B. Grassy ass, amigo. All right. Stay safe <laughs> out stay safe out there. Don't yeah, yeah, it was this it was a stupid accident. It was in the parking lot. I wasn't even on the road. I was on I was in the parking lot. It was dumb. I backed up like speed racer and hit somebody. Oh man. <laughs> That's all. I backed up. Yeah, after Jasmine came to the window and said, Baby, I love you and don't be driving like you crazy and I said, Cool Right? And I wasn't when I st- I wasn't gonna drive like I was crazy. Interestingly enough, all I did was back up out of the parking space like I was crazy. Cause I didn't see nobody. Like he came out of nowhere. The devil put a truck behind me when I was pulling out of the driveway. I don't give a fuck. There was nobody there when I got in the car. Wow. It's, it's impossible. Listen, when I got out the car. I, when I got to when I got left the house and I walked out the door, there was nobody coming down the hill. I go to the car. You called me, said, "Baby," I said, "What?" Because this doesn't happen. You never do this. I go to the window. You say, "I love you," and don't drive like you crazy. I'm like, "All right, right." I get in the car. I have to walk to the car to to do this. To get in the car, I have to walk to it. When I was walking to the car, there was no truck, son. It, it, it didn't exist, B. Until I backed up and hit it. Like, where the heck did he come from, son? Yeah. You were at the wrong place at the wrong time, man. Listen, it was like, it was like reality just put, the, put, that, put him there, son. <laughs> like, like, like some Mandela shit happened, and my reality was, mm, there's a truck behind you. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh, man. Like Mandela put a truck behind me the other day, son. That ghost of Mandela effect, son. You know what? It would be funnier and more entertaining if they say that the Mandela effect is the ghost of Mandela going around fucking with reality. You believe in that that crap? Do, do I believe in that crap? How about the... this, buddy? How about this, buddy? I was a part of it, okay? How about <laughs> this? I, no, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how it happened because this happened to me before I even knew about the Mandela Effect. Okay, I don't know, two years ago, something like that, about two years ago, I'm in Queens at my mother's house, and my niece asked me, it was three years ago, and my niece said, Uncle Tariq, you're an artist. Can you draw something for me? And I said, cool, no doubt. What do you mean to draw? She said, I need you to draw Nelson Mandela because we have to do a report on him because he died. Right? He just died. And so I have to do a report on Nelson Mandela. I said, yeah, no doubt. Forget about it. Yeah, I'll I, I never drew a portrait before because I'm a cartoonist. So I never drew, like, I never sat and looked at somebody and drew them or looked at a real person in a magazine and drew them. I've never done that before. But she asked me to do it, and I said, mm, all right, I'll go for it. You know what I'm saying, right? So, boom. 
right? When I was walking away, I said, wait a minute. Didn't that nigga die already? I could swear. Listen, when I was in school, Nelson Mandela died. You know what I'm saying? And they had a big ass parade for him and all that shit. And I had to do a report on Nelson Mandela when I was in school because he died when I was in school, right? So my niece is asking me to draw a picture of Nelson Mandela because he just died, son. And I'm like, what the entire fuck is going on? He's already dead. He's been dead for mad long. What are you talking about, right? So I go to my mom's and I'm like, yo, mom, you know Naira just asked me to draw Nelson Mandela. She got a report to do. And my mother, of course, knows about this report because my niece never does anything herself. My mother does her reports for her. I'm blowing it up. I don't care. But... You know what I'm saying? So my mother knew about it. She was like, yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah, well, Ma, do you don't remember Nelson Mandela died like in the 80s, B, and they had that big-ass parade with all of the people from Africa and that word. It was a huge parade. Son. It was huge. Son. It was huge. Nelson Mandela dying in the 80s was huge, son. Okay? Okay? So how in the holy hell can he die three years ago when he died already? It's, 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 look, I was there, and so so the only individual that I know that could die twice is Tupac and Jesus. And all the reason why I say that, and well, Jesus didn't die twice. Tupac is the only individual that ever died twice, because he died and then he made an album, and then he died. He was dead and made a, he made three albums dead. So this is the only individual that I know that could do that. So, Nelson Mandela, you can't die twice. Something ain't right, son. Something ain't right. Something's not right. Something ain't right. So, I don't know exactly what the Mandela effect is, but I know that Nelson Mandela died already, son. I was there. It was a big-ass parade for him. You know what I'm saying? It was all over every television everywhere. You know what I mean? Also, this dumbass Sinbad that said that he never did a genie movie you could go see him saying he never did a genie movie I ain't never been in no stupid genie movie talk about some granting some wishes y'all need to stop using them drugs right Nick look I have the fucking video son of you nigga with the genie shit on the red costume and you were granting children wishes you are on drugs son and I never did no movie like that yes son I have you on video doing the movie son it, and son so so believing in that crap yeah I believe in that crap who's the black dude that ran for president um, a couple of years back. What was his name? What was his name? The black guy with the white hair. He was old, but he was Carver, something Carver, Carter, or something. He was, he ran for president, right? He was running Carter. for he was, Okay, Carter, yeah. Look uh, at uh, the interview. Look at the interviews where he says out of his mouth, I never ran for president. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I never ran for president. Look at the interviews where he says he's never done it before. He doesn't know what anybody's talking about. Go look it up. YouTube it. Google it. Y'all want to know what this is about. Y'all don't really want to know what this is about. Listen, I'm just, hey, they could set, they could have set it up. You know what I'm saying? These people could be cloned. They could be all types of shit. All I know a lot simpler than is, that. is that reality is really weird you know what i'm saying like and and if you can't see something directly you do have to figure out what happened <laughs> i mean i've had individuals walking behind me and i've turned around and they were gone and there was no way that they were fast enough to have ran out of my field of vision hey, you know hey b b b that's some good stuff over there man Tell you what. So there's certain things that I just can't, you know what I mean? I just can't deny. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, so if you can explain, if anybody can explain to me how Nelson Mandela died in '87 and then died in 2014 or 15, then cool. You know what I'm saying? But I know that mm, that's weird to me. You know what I mean? Like what? Well, Time travel. 
<laughs> no, it wasn't. It was him uh, being sarcastic. He was being sarcastic. Uh, yeah. He was being. He was trying to be a smart ass in that video. But yeah, and that's weird because he's sitting here on Sinbad is sitting there mad, <laughs> arguing with people, and right above the video of you arguing on YouTube, son, is you in the movie. <laughs> if you go to YouTube and you look up Sinbad pissed about not being in a movie, right above that video is the movie. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, reality's bugged out. You want to know something else? If you look up the Illuminati card deck, right, that was created in 1986... Almost everything that happened before and after 1986 is on one of those cards. 9-11, 9/11 is one. The cards were created in 86. 9-11 is on the cards. The Pentagon is on the cards. The, 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 what was that? Japan nuclear reactor explosion is on one of the cards. The whole flu, bird flu, is, that's on one of the cards. The, like everything that has happened, major events like the Haiti thing have. It's all on on those cards. And so, if you actually get those cards and look at them, first of all, scared, it's going to scare the shit out of you. But but if you look at those cards, you can kind of, if you're good enough, you can figure out what's going to happen next. Like, you can look at those cards, that whole deck, and look at the things that happened already, and then look at the ones that didn't happen yet, and kind of figure out, based on how things are going, you know what I'm saying, what, they, what they're going to do next. And I don't know if it's that, well, I can't say I don't know. It has to be that they're playing a game with our lives. It's a game. It's really a game. When I teach you about the game and I'm telling you you have to decide what character you're going to be and what your specialties and skills are going to be, I'm dead ass serious. Like, this shit is a game. Like, it's really a game. Like, it really, really is. Like, it really is. I don't know. Like, at least, play, at least playing the game in the system and trying and getting out of it and becoming successful to the point where you're fine and you're cool in life, that's when you when you when you beat the game and you could turn off the system and walk away and live your life however you want to live it. So you're not always in a game like living on earth is not a game, but being in the system is and being a part of it definitely is. You know what I'm saying? And so when you look at the Illuminati card deck, son, you'll see that they have been playing a game with our lives the whole time. Like, I don't know how they do it where somebody draws a card and now they have to make that thing happen. Or well, I don't know how they play it because it's not my, I don't, it's, I don't have nothing to do with that game. But, yeah, it's definitely a game. All these deaths and sh all this stuff. And then a lot of it, you know what I'm saying, like, um, a lot of it, as far as like shootings and violent things happening in, in, in neighborhoods and shit, that, those are crisis actors. If you look up, if you Google crisis actor, you'll be surprised at how many of these shootings didn't actually happen. And I know about that because my friend was a crisis actor when he was a kid. He was in the Boy Scouts and they had to do an airplane. They had a, it was like an airplane simulation, you know, so they could learn how, uh, EMS responds to, you know, uh, plane crashes and stuff. So they were told that they was gonna, they were learning this, you know, as Boy Scouts on how to help people in emergency situations, you know, and how to interact with the EMT or right. So what happened was he told me that, and this is my best friend, man, and I know he was in the Boy Scouts and all that because I always wanted to be a Boy Scout so I could get a knife. I just wanted the fucking knife. I wanted to join the Boy Scouts because they got the, they parents bought them knives and shit as children, and I wanted a knife. Is it? But anyway, so yeah, so I never joined the Boy Scouts, but they was Boy Scouts, and so they did this. But when we got older, he told me like, you know, when I brought up crisis actors, he was like, you know, and I was like, they pay people to do this shit, man, and he was like, or not. You know what I'm saying? And I said, or not? What are you talking about? He was like, or. Or, or they don't pay them. You know what I'm saying? Because I was in <laughs> one of those crisis actor news events. You know what I'm saying? Because what happened was he had saw a plane crash on the news when he was older. But 
in that news clip, they had clips of the situation that he was in, that, of the drill that he was in when he was in the Boy Scouts. He was like, oh shit, this is like 12 years later, I'm looking on the news at this plane crash, and I'm seeing my brother, right? I'm seeing the people in it, and that was us, because what they said was that they had the, people, they had the Boy Scouts and other people lay on the ground, and they would put fake blood and fake body parts around them to make it look like a real plane crash and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that was the drill when they was kids, but later on when he grew up, they took parts of that that drill and put them in the news clip of a plane crash. So wow. Like, so I was like, damn, that's crazy, son. He was like, yeah, part some of the clips in that news reel was from when we was kids. <laughs> like, I, I was there. <laughs> I remember that vividly. Like, really? and I was like, oh, shit, that's great. Because I'm trying to tell him, like, he's not going to believe me. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time, he's like, yeah, okay, Machete, yeah, you go with the, you know what I mean? But this time, he was like, hmm. <laughs> yes, sometimes they don't get paid, Machete. And I'm like, what? What'd you say? Yeah. Yeah, we but, saved clips of those from Craigslist. We save them. We find them and save them. I have two oh. or three. Friends got about five of them, like right after the Charlottesville one, the Vegas one. I forget what we have, but we have a bunch of them. Yeah, and see, if you keep those and you look at the pictures, you see some of the same people. Oh, yeah, it is. They're all the same people, just in different, like, yeah. positions. Yeah, yeah, if you really analyze the picture, which we yeah. do, yeah. So we sit there and look at him like, oh, here's the guy, look at him, he's smiling in the background yeah. here. Yeah. That he's leg a teacher. Off must not hurt too bad. Yeah, like he's a teacher in this school shooting, but he's a cop in this school sh or he's a parent in this school shooting, right? And in this school shooting, he's one of the victims, one of the pedestrians, like, or he's one of the people talking in the camera, like, I saw the whole thing. You're like, wait a minute, dude, you were the teacher from the last school shooting. <laughs> you were the cop from the first school shooting. You know what I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy, but they're fucking with us, people. It's a game. It's a game, man. Everything's a game. How, I'm telling you how to get out of it so that you're not a part of this because you're in it. Like you're in it. You're playing. You're playing a part. Like the person is a part. If you look up the definition of person, it's a mask that one wears or a part that one plays. You're playing a part. That's why I don't understand why people want to keep them shits and all that. Listen, it's not doing nothing but fucking your life up. Get rid of it, man. Whether you think you're you you think you're running things and controlling things, and you think that it no son, you're wrong, man. That shit is necromancy in every form of fashion. Is you are trying to control or own the dead. You are trying to master. That's like the that's like the the, the, the black chick with dreads in The Walking Dead, where she walk around with the zombies chained up like her fucking pets and shit. That's what that's what that's what people are doing. Like they want to go private, but keep the entity, nigga. You want to keep the dead. You want to keep the dead. You want, I can I can control it. I can control it to my advantage. Make it work to my advantage. You want to walk around with a zombie on a chain, on a leash, and shit. Like you're a dumbass. Like get rid of it, son. Like you know what I mean. But I know that people can't do that cold turkey. So I'm teaching you how to build up your trust to the point where you won't need it, and you could get rid of it because it's it's hurting you, whether you know it or not. But I'm going to really go now. <laughs> and I love you all, and just contact me. And until next time. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Peace.